Number 1. Hand Signals One confusing aspect of motorcycling for some people is the use of hand signals. Motorcyclists may use hand signals to communicate their intentions to other drivers, but these signals may not be familiar to everyone. Here are some common hand signals used by motorcyclists. Left Turn The motorcyclist will extend their left arm straight out to the side with their hand pointing up. This signals that they intend to turn left. Right Turn The motorcyclist will extend their left arm straight out to the side with their hand pointing down. This signals that they intend to turn right. Stopping or slowing down. The motorcyclist will extend their left arm straight out to the side with their hand open and facing down. This signals that they are slowing down or coming to a stop. Hazard ahead. The motorcyclist will extend their left arm straight out to the side with their hand pointing up and their fingers spread out. This signals that there is a hazard ahead and other drivers should exercise caution. Group riding. When riding in a group, the lead rider may use hand signals to communicate turns or changes in direction to the other riders. This can be confusing to other drivers who may not be familiar with these signals. Nonverbal signals. In some cases, motorcyclists may use nonverbal signals such as flashing their headlights or honking their horns to communicate with other drivers. These signals can be confusing for those who are not familiar with them. Number 2. Riding with blinker on. A motorcyclist may turn their blinker on before changing lanes to let other drivers know of their intention to move. They may keep their blinker on until they have completed the lane change, but sometimes this isn't the case and you might see that a biker has kept his blinker on for around 10 minutes now. Well, one of the reasons this could be is because the poor guy must have forgotten to turn it off as most bikes don't come with self-canceling blinkers. But sometimes it's not only due to forgetfulness. It is possible that a motorcyclist's blinker may become stuck in the on position due to equipment malfunction. If this happens, the motorcyclist may not be aware that their blinker is still on and may continue to use it as a signal to other drivers. But in some other cases, motorcyclists may simply have a habit of keeping their blinker on for an extended period of time, even if it is not strictly necessary. This can be confusing to other drivers who may not understand the reasoning behind the action. Number 3. Speeding away from stop signs Motorcycles are smaller and more compact than cars, which can make them more difficult for other drivers to see. As a result, a motorcyclist may feel the need to accelerate quickly after stopping at a stop sign in order to get out of harm's way. In some cases, the motorcyclist may be riding on a narrow road or in a residential area where there is limited space to maneuver. In these situations, they may feel the need to speed up quickly after stopping at a stop sign in order to get out of the way of other vehicles. However, in some cases, a motorcyclist may simply be unaware of the speed at which they are accelerating away from a stop sign. This can be due to a lack of attention or experience and can be confusing to other drivers who are trying to anticipate the motorcyclist's actions. Number 4. Leaning on bikes during turns When a motorcycle turns, the weight of the bike shifts, and the rider must counterbalance it in order to maintain control. Leaning in the direction of the turn can help the rider to maintain their balance and control the motorcycle. In some cases, a motorcyclist may need to lean on their bike in order to navigate a tight turn or avoid obstacles. This can be especially true on narrow or winding roads. Moreover, by leaning on their bike, a motorcyclist can shift their weight and redistribute it in a way that improves traction and helps them to maintain control. Finally, it helps bikers take corners at high speeds. That is the reason that all of these racer folk seem like they are about to fall off their bikes. It is the only way they can take a corner and not lose their position. Number 5. Bike slows down without brake lights turning on Because motorcycles are so much lighter than cars, engine braking has a far more noticeable effect on motorcycles. 
Let's break down what happens when a motorcycle stops, pulls in the clutch, and uses the front and rear brakes in order to slow down and why this is the norm. Rear brake lights are activated by a switch that is triggered when the front brake is applied. However, experienced riders know that engine braking is often effective enough to slow a bike to a stop without applying the brakes. Instead, they can simply shift into a low gear and let the engine do all the work, which is fun because they get to rev their bike and hear the exhaust. We assure you that the biker is not trying to exert undue influence or ruin your day by failing to turn on his or her brake lights. Rather, they are likely unaware that they are slowing down in front of you and are simply not paying attention. If you are driving behind a motorcycle, the best thing you can do is give yourself a little room because even if they do turn on their brake lights, they will stop much faster than you and you don't want to accidentally hit the motorcyclists. There are lights that are activated by G-forces and come on when they feel the bike slowing down, but these are optional modifications you put on your motorcycle and do not come as standard equipment. So, if you are a biker, it is best that you be mindful of your surroundings because, once again, you are the less safe one on the road. Number 6. Why do they stand on their bikes? Well, there could be a number of factors at play here, but let's start with the most likely explanation, such as a bump in the road or a puddle that they'll have to avoid. Standing on the pegs allows your knees to absorb the shock instead of your spine when riding over a pothole. Even though motorcycles have suspension parts to soften bumps, being cautious is still recommended. The rear suspension on many high-performing motorbikes is so stiff that it feels like hitting a curb when navigating even minor road imperfections. It is also possible that the rider is stretching because, well, let's be honest, few motorbikes offer the same level of comfort as modern automobiles. There's no AC, there's not much protection from the wind, and the seats are made of hard foam rather than the plush materials used in luxury vehicles. By standing while riding, you may get your blood pumping and loosen up your tense muscles. After all, these long rides tend to get tiring, and getting a little blood flowing now and then might just keep you riding for a while longer. So, that's all the time we had today, folks. Hope you enjoyed this video. Do not forget to subscribe to our channel and do hit the bell icon on your way out. See you all next time.